All right, guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so starting off with a uh, little bead that's a little incognito bead, one of his like orange with the blue middle in it, sweet colors. Um, and I got a little piece of shrimp here that I'm gonna stick on. Summer steel had a very, very bait fish, right? They're in here, a lot of them are eating, almost acting like trout sometimes. And they love shrimp, they love eggs, um, any kind of bait really. So got that bead with that piece of shrimp. Also got some spawn sacks and some chunks of roe with me uh, that I might put on a little later. So let's do it. Alright guys, so I roped through this hole pretty good now with uh, some bait setups. I'm going to go ahead and run a pink worm, so worm, jig head. I'm going to thread this worm through here. Try to get it pretty straight, pretty even. I don't really, I don't really pay attention to which way the tail's facing right now. It's actually kind of straight up. I just put it on there however, and however the tail ends up, that's how I fish it. And I seem to catch fish no matter what, so. Does it make a difference? It might, but I don't know. I'm just gonna grab my leader here, 12 pound P-line salmon steelhead leader. This P-line stuff, it's, I've caught some big fish on like 10 and 12 pound line and had no issues. Um, but I'm just gonna tie this on. I'm just using a clinch knot, right? Just wrap it around a few times and put it back through. The old fisherman's knot. Just got to make sure you tie it good and it's not going to slip. Because I have had that fail a few times when you're in a hurry. Hands are cold, wet. Then I'm just going to take this bobber. I'm going to unhook this leader I had on here. And as my bobber weight, I'm just gonna tie this leader that I tied the worm on right to this bobber weight. Same knot. And some, pe some people will say, you know, that if you do less wraps on the jig head itself and then more wraps up top, then you just lose the jig head. Uh, I don't really pay attention, but so now I just got my bobber up there and my pink worm. That's one of my favorite colors. Again, like I said in the last video, with just the straight pink worms, a lot of these like pink or kind of pale pink worms um, is what I end up doing really good on most of the time. All right, so now we're out here on the rock with my pink worm set up. We're gonna run this through here. Try not to get hung up. I don't fish worms as much as I should, but sometimes I really like fishing a worm because it's a lot heavier setup, right? Like a bead, a lot of times using like small hooks, um, lighter line, like I'll use like 10 or even eight pound tests on my bead beaters, you know, size four hook. Um, and a lot of times you barely get those fish pinned, right? You barely get them like in the little in the little corner um, or just on a piece of skin so you got to fight them real gentle uh, you can't really just swing on the hook set i find it better with a bead just kind of reel up on them and pull tight um, i land more fish but sometimes it's nice to go to the worm setup because i usually run a little heavier line you know i run like 12 or 15 pound leader um, and then you because that big jig head on there and that stout hook and they come up and just engulf these worms, you can really lay the wood to them. Um, so sometimes it's nice to kind of get away from that finesse bead style setup, put something on a little bit more 
almost like Chinook fishing for bobber and eggs, really. That bobber goes down, you can really hit them hard and don't have to be quite as careful with them. You actually tend to land a lot more fish too. Uh, so it's nice to fish a worm sometimes. And this is definitely, oh, something bumped it right there. Something definitely bumped it. I felt that through my rod tip. This, I've missed a couple bobber downs right there and I would not be surprised if there was a steelhead there. My bobber bounced and I felt it like the jolt in my rod. It's a Lamy Glass uh, SI. It's a nine foot four, 10 to 15. So it's kind of right in the middle um, sometimes I get annoyed by it because it's like nine foot four. It's a decent spinner rod, but a little long. And it's like, it, it works as a bobber rod, uh, but it's a little bit short for a bobber rod that being at nine foot four. It's really better of a drift fishing rod and a piece of pencil lead and a corky and yarn and a little bit of eggs. But I don't really do that much uh, anymore. All right, we got to get a good drift back there where I had that bobble, but. So it's kind of an in-between length. The power is 10 to 15, which is pretty good. It's got power, uh, but it also is pretty light, so I can get away with fishing those lighter bead leaders. That was him. That was him, you guys. Man, remember I just missed through there and I said I had a bobble, went through there again, and that bobber drained. I was a little late on the hook set. All right, try this again. Man, there's no teeth marks on my worm, so that's kind of odd, but I think my worm would be ripped a little bit. And I know there's a couple rocks in there, but like I'll go through there and it won't go down 10 times. And then it'll just like that one just barely go. Oh, there's a dark Chinook that scared the crap out of me, to be honest. He probably is the one messing with my worm. Old nasty Springer. I have seen a few get caught on a worm before, so it wouldn't be surprised. If there is an old Springer down there playing with my worm. It's definitely something down there though, playing with it. Oh, man. Got him. Told you. And it's a Chinook. Are you kidding me? I told you he was in there. And it's a Chinook on a pink worm, you guys. It's kind of nuts. I mean, I've seen it happen a few times, but... Oh my gosh. I missed this Chinook like three times on this worm. That's kind of insane. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I gotta get a better angle. You get me behind this rock. Don't want them to break me off. Definitely an older Chinook. I don't know if I'm gonna keep him or not. 
but I might keep it. I kept one in the last video, you guys saw, I kept a Chinook and uh, it actually cut decent. I can't believe this though, it kind of shocks me a little bit that this old spring Chinook just hammered the worm like that. But look at that you guys, on the pink worm, that's kind of insane. 